Welcome back, Legends, to another episode of Review and Breakdown for DC's London Tomorrow Season 7, Episode 12. Now, this was a very unexpected episode, to say the least. This is, of course, the penultimate episode. We just went on, I think, like a maybe two or three week break of episodes. So, I, w I didn't really know what to expect going into this episode in the first place because... Last episode kind of ended off the main storyline with the Android Legends and everything going on there. But then it ended with that big cliffhanger of Gideon getting stabbed by Android Astra. So then we get this episode, which again, I really didn't know what to expect. And I definitely wasn't expecting what actually happened, where it almost kind of felt like a series finale. With, of course, you know, some loose ends left open at the end of the episode that kind of leave things open for, of course, next week's Season 7 finale. And the show still hasn't even been officially renewed for Season 8, so I'm hoping and assuming it will be, but it was kind of weird because this was almost like a goodbye to the Legends. But anyways, guys, before we get into talking about this episode too much, I do want to give a quick spoiler warning. If you've not yet seen the episode, definitely make sure to go check it out on the CW. And without further ado, let's go ahead and break down... DC's London Tomorrow, Season 7, Episode 12. So, like I said, we follow up right after that big cliffhanger of last episode, where Gideon, human Gideon, has now been stabbed by Android Astra. So, the Legends automatically rush her to the Med Bay, and they kind of retake control of the Wave Rider, but they're still dealing with evil Gideon, or computer Gideon at least, and because she's trying to kill everyone until she realizes that there's a human form of Gideon on the ship, so she can't kill them because she can't kill her human form of Gideon. So we have the two Gideons actually kind of talking to each other, and it's actually really resolved very quickly with the whole Gideon being stabbed thing. I thought, you know, with that being such a huge cliffhanger that that'd be like a big thing this episode, but no, like five minutes in, she's she's all good to go. And so we have this conversation between Gideon and Computer Gideon, and Computer Gideon gives permission for the Legends to go home like they've always wanted to this whole time, but they have to retire. They have to give up being Legends of Tomorrow. And to get, convince them to do this, Gideon shows the Legends their futures. And this, as soon as it was brought up, I was like, all right, this is an interesting idea. I'm excited to see where things go here. So first of all, we have Zari, who ends up winning Influencer of the Year, but for some reason, she stops wearing her totem. We have Bayrod, who ends up starring in, I'm not sure if it's like a kid's show, kind of along the lines of like Sesame Street or something, but either way, he ends up making music, he releases a record album, which is all kid-friendly and stuff, so that's awesome, he's living the dream right there. We also have Dr. Nate, so Nate actually ends up becoming an author and writing a book about time travel and everything, so that's awesome. Astor runs for president in 2040, Gwyn retires to 1925, but all alone with no Alan, so that's kind of depressing. But Sarah and Ava, they have a kid, and they're living their best life, so of course, like, there's kind of, some people got their really good wishes, and then some people get a little lacking in their futures. But as all of those legends are finding out about their futures, we have Spooner actually making her way through the vents, sneaking around to try and get to the armory so that they can charge up a time courier so they can actually make their way out of there and escape from computer Gideon but since that's happening it's going to be suspicious if Spooner doesn't show up to see her future from Gideon so Astra disguises herself as Spooner and in the future Spooner returns to 1925 and opens up a clinic with her mom but that also means no more friends no more legends she's just going back to her lonely depressing life with her mom which I mean like hey cool she gets to live with her mom again but she loses all her friends so another kind of future that is just also a little depressing. But that really doesn't matter now because Spooner actually ends up getting caught. And we get this big decision here in this episode where Gideon decides, like our main Gideon, she decides like, all right, I'm going to be the new captain of the Wave Rider and all of you guys can retire. And so then we get kind of this contemplation of like, maybe this is what's best for the timeline. Maybe the world and the timeline in history doesn't need the Legends of Tomorrow. Maybe it would be better off. So, it's official. The Legends are retiring. They have this crazy retirement party with cake, and they have a Bebo pinata. It's great. You know, things, they, they, they're all having a good time reminiscing with each other and all that stuff. Aster even duplicates the key to Constantine's former manor. So, 
actually now they can still hang out and visit each other even during retirement. So that's really cool. I really enjoyed that little uh, feature there as well. Gideon even asked Gary to stay with her on the Wave Rider. He really, we never saw what his future would be. So maybe he didn't have anything to really go back to. So he he's in love with Gideon. So of course he decides to stay with her. Bayrod and Astra, even though they're going their separate ways, they're still sticking together. They're still going to go on a date, which is super exciting because I love them together as a couple. And we also have uh, Ava and Zari who want to kind of, they want to save Alan because they feel bad for Gwen Davies because their whole mission this whole time, the only reason Davies agreed to actually work with the Legends in the season was because they said, all right, we can get you back to Alan. But that never happened. So in, in his future, he would return to being all alone. So Ava and Zari want to do that. They want to bring back Alan. And they do. They end up bringing back Alan with the help of Gideon. And, you know, Gideon... Gwyn kind of gets his happy ending with Alan. Alan and Gwyn are finally reunited. He reveals his feelings for him. They kiss. You know, they get that nice happy ending there. And then the Legends plan to meet up for team dinners every Wednesday. And then they take a team photo. And one by one, they all start disappearing. And now the Legends tomorrow are officially in retirement. And this is what I was talking about at the beginning of the video when I was like, I was not at all expecting this to happen. Because who would have expected this? This just comes completely out of nowhere. But as you see, um, a lot of the time that there really is no happily ever after. And after you get that happy ending, something always goes wrong. And that's exactly what happens here. Because we have, now it's just Gideon and Gary on the Wave Rider. And, you know, they kind of start getting into a little bit of a fight. They get into a bit of an argument about lying and stuff like that. And... Gideon reveals that Alan is not actually Alan. That is actually a robot that she created. And so she lied once again. So Gary gets a little upset with her. He walks out of the room. And Computer Gideon is talking to both of them. Kind of trying to manipulate them. Both of them. And then ends up kicking Gary out of the way. Rider, literally opening the door. Just kicking him out. And now Gideon is like, oh, alright, maybe that's for the best or whatever. And she kind of just quickly moves on. So, who knows what happened to Gary? Like, did he die? He's still, is he just, like, floating around in the time stream? Is that is that what's going on now? I, I really don't know. I mean, I hope he's alright, but then again, you also have that big reveal here at the end of the episode that Alan is a robot. So then you actually get to see that Gwyn Davies, he actually knows that. He knows that Alan is a robot, so he actually rips the, the chip thing out of the back of his head, kills robot Alan, and says, I'm coming for you, my boy. So... He is now going to actually go get the real Alan, and he's going to tamper with the time stream and do all that stuff, whatever it has to do to get back the love of his life. So this was, of course, the big cliffhanger that we'll see explained in next week's season finale for DC's London Tomorrow Season 7, which I'm really excited for, and I'm really not exactly sure what's going to happen either because there's... Like, you just have the, like, pretty much everything is wrapped up here except for this one plot thread that is just left hanging at the end of the episode. So, I'm I'm really excited to see where things go. But for now, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think about this week's episode of DC's London Tomorrow Season 7? And you can let me know your th final thoughts, theories, and predictions for the finale in the comments below. So guys, thanks so much for watching. Please drop a like if you enjoyed this video and hit the subscribe button so I can keep it to date on everything goes on in the DC life.